<laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Miss Molly with countrymusicnewsblog.com and we are here thanks to upcoming country music festival Thunder on the Mountain um, and we are chatting with the wonderful and talented JT Hodges today. JT, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, we've also got Haley T in here with us. She's also with Country Music News Blog. Haley T, say hello. Hey everybody! Hey. Uh, we also have the the <laughs> wonderful Lydia uh, from Keeping It Country blog all the way up in Canada. How are you doing today, darling? Warmer than yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking everyone is just thankful for any kind of warmth we're getting at this point. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> well, awesome. Um, so, like I said, we are here thanks to the upcoming Country Music Festival, Thunder on the Mountain, um, and JT, you're going to be featured in that lineup. Um, are you excited? Have you had a chance to think about it at all? Well, I haven't had a chance to think about it. I've been on the road a lot, but it seems like uh, I was just like in Oklahoma last week and, and uh, uh, playing, um, God, was a festival I just played. Oh, calf fry. And a lot of those Oklahoma folks were asking if I was going to be at Thunder on the Mountains. So, and then he, I was also in Little Rock, and people were asking if I was going to be at Thunder on the Mountains. So, obviously, uh, this is going to be a big festival that I'm that I'm looking forward to playing. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of people. That's right up my alley. I like to play in front of a lot of people, and that means the PA is loud. That means the drums are loud. That means the the guitars are loud. That means the fun is loud and big. <laughs> So yeah, absolutely. Always looking forward to play. That's always yeah, Thunder is the talk of the town. Every town. <laughs> thunder Thunder on the Mountain. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, basically anywhere you go around here, there's either a billboard or a poster talking about Thunder on the Mountain, and it's basically all we can talk about. <laughs> that's what I say, that's that, that big old PA, man, they're going to be making some thunder up on that mountain, I guess. <laughs> Crazy. Between the crowd and the music. Yeah. So, yeah. Have definitely. you had a chance to uh, check out the rest? I'll oh, go ahead. <laughs> we got a delay here, obviously. It's, it's... <laughs> yeah, I think we have a little bit of a delay, but it's okay. We'll roll with it. <laughs> um, like so, the, the lineup is pretty big. Uh, are any of your favorite fellow musicians playing? It's great. Yes, there are some favorite musicians playing. Did you get that? Yes, I got that. Tell me about them. Okay. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing Luke again, seeing Toby again, hanging out with those guys again, and uh, actually seeing some of the new acts. There's a lot of acts I don't, I'm not as familiar with that I, I know that are on the bill from what I've seen, and uh, it's always always a cool thing to be able to. You know, discover a new act live as opposed to on iTunes or from from somebody else when you can actually just all of a sudden hear something and then go out there and say, who's that band? That's always a cool way to discover music, especially for me, because I think live is such an important part of it all. You, know, you see some bands or some acts that sound great, you know, on, the, uh, on an album. Or a record or a single, and you go out and see see them live, and you're not as inspired. But so uh, live is definitely an important thing to me. So being able to see some new acts and see how they really flow is is, is going to be cool. <laughs> awesome! I appreciate the gestures. This is good. <laughs> Lydia, you got a question? I'll just yeah, pause, it's I'll just your, like, right when I'm done writing. talking, I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm 
<laughs> okay. All right. So since you're in your writing studio, how's work on the new album going? Oh, wow. It's actually going fantastic. We uh, are going to be cutting some uh, new sides this Monday, actually. Um, we had a meeting with Lily yesterday, about four hours with producers, and uh, everybody is very, very excited about the new music. We even had some promotion, radio promotion people come into the meeting, and they were flipping out over just the demos. So um, we've got uh, a great plan, uh, some, some new music that I think has definitely uh, taken me to the next level. I think each time you record music, you want to get better. You want to write better songs. You just want to get better as an artist. So this is going to be an exciting step, and I think all of you and uh, whoever is you know, a fan of what I do, I think they'll be very happy. <laughs> we got the signal. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the... <laughs> I think you gave the signal. Yeah, that's when you know I'm done. <laughs> well, I have a question. Can you hear me? Okay. I can hear you. Cool. All right. Well, back to Thunder for a little bit. What is, like, how much do you love festivals? Because I love festivals, and I love it when other people love festivals because they're fun. And, like, are you going to walk around and, like, interact, or are you going to, like, not be able to? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I'm, I think festivals are a blast. Um, I've had the opportunity to play quite a few of them over the last year, and um, I feel that you know people that come to festivals are, are hyped up. They're ready to hear all kinds of music, and therefore they're probably more open to hearing all kinds of music uh, across the board, especially you know country music. As we know, there's you got your red dirt stuff, and you got your kind of stuff that leans more pops and everything in between. So it's um, the festival is a good time for everybody to come together, uh, listen to music. Um, I'm sure all the bands sound great because everybody's probably uh, getting tipsy. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I've actually walked out there and hung out and gone to a few, you know, pig roasts and uh, had a few beers with some folks that are out there, and I think that's important. You know, sometimes they'll. Uh, it gets a little a little much, and you you, you have to go back in. But uh, yeah, it's I, I definitely enjoyed going out there and having a few beers with, with you know people that have been out there for four days and been sleeping yeah. in a tent, and, and you can smell it. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Uh, festivals are great. A lot of fun. Good deal. <laughs> He's still doing it. <laughs> Molly. Oh, she's muted. They're muted. Muted, of course. Okay, so <laughs> around here <laughs> in the Oklahoma, kind of northwest Arkansas area, we do have um, a pretty strong red dirt scene. How do you think um, those folks that are fans of that particular kind of music are going to respond to you and your style? Well, I think great, considering, uh, you know, we just played Calf Fry, and that's very red dirt. You know, I grew up in Fort Worth, Texas, so there is definitely the rock edge to my music definitely comes from that. Uh, if you listen to a lot of Texas country um, and even up to Oklahoma, um, it's it's classic rock and roll guitar tones, and, and uh, that's always been a part of what I do. Um, I think they'll respond great to it. Um, I think if you're honest with who you are as an artist and you're honest about your music and you, you know, you're know you not trying to be anything different, then I, I think people will respect it. Now, maybe some won't go out and buy the music, but maybe some will. But uh, I have a feeling people will dig it. You know, There was 10,000 people at that calf ride uh, just this past Saturday, and uh, we had the crowd going crazy. You know, we were, we were having fun, so. Calf Fry is a good time. I've been there a couple of years, and it's 
Ready. But Thunder will be better. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a blast. I'm totally blown away. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have, like, before you do live shows, do you have a ritual that you go through um, to kind of prep yourself for it? Yeah, I mean, usually. You, you got to warm up. At least I do. I have to. I have to usually do about fifteen minutes of vocal warm up. Otherwise, because I'm singing night after night, and if you don't do that and you're not singing the correct way, you're you're gonna pay for it, and you're gonna end up having to cancel shows that you don't want to cancel simply because you were foolish about it. And then uh, usually get with the guys, uh, have a few shots of whiskey, you know, have a beer or something like that, and then get out there and do it. That's usually that's usually how most uh, you know everybody just gets prepped with with, with whiskey and and uh, a little vocal warm up. Nice vocal warm up, me maybe not them, but <laughs> <laughs> what kind of whiskey do you drink? Whatever kind of whiskey is available, but preferably Jack Daniels. Hey now. <laughs> What about you, you? Got more questions? I bet it's Fireball, oh. huh? Oh, goodness, no. Actually, Jameson's. <laughs> wow. We got a little, um, JD. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I love JD, actually. <laughs> Take a shot right now if you're if if, if you're real if you're real uh, if you're real gung ho Thunder on the Mountain. Let me see you take a shot. Now. Oh, <laughs> oh, Hello. in my bar. Uh, oh, no. What have you started? There we go. I'm scared. <laughs> there it goes. Not goggle whatever. <laughs> Everyone, J T Hodges has an, has made Haley T take a shot of whiskey. That's <laughs> it. Here it goes. Bottoms up. Boom. <laughs> Woo! I love my job. Uh, on a Google Plus Hangout. Woo! I didn't catch any of that. But <laughs> Something about Google Plus Hangout. Woo! <laughs> it's awesome. What's that? It's like making history. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Kayla, you're my so Lydia, those, do you have any whiskey to shoot over there? I, I up in do Canada? <laughs> I can go get uh, some. No, I don't I don't have any whiskey here. I've drank I drank it all. All I have is red wine. I don't think you want to shoot red wine. <laughs> no. And if you want me to continue to do this interview and not fall asleep, then I won't, I won't have any red wine. <laughs> Okay, let's not speak. drink that. <laughs> <laughs> Question: did the, did the people from the Thunder on the Mountain ever shot. come on? There you go. They have it actually. I'm sure they're maybe watching somewhere. I I'm hope. I'm sure they're proud of me though. Yeah, I'm sure they <laughs> definitely appreciate what just happened. <laughs> you took a shot in honor of Thunder on the Mountain. Go back to the interview. <laughs> So what HG is still capable of asking questions after that. <laughs> what else you got? Well, me, yeah, I can ask questions all day long. Shoot. <laughs> um. Well, what about when you're on stage and it's daytime and everybody's hammered out in the audience? What are some of the craziest things that people yell at you? You know, like "I love your eyes" or whatever. <laughs> Well, I can't get past the Talladega Nights hammered drunk. You're ha everybody's hammered drunk out there. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, I've, I haven't heard blue eyes to be honest. I've, I've had a, I've had a, I've had a couple of, of, uh, of flashes as far as wild, you know. Few few women have have, uh, have 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 flashed me, which uh, was uh, pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> uh, but no, usually it's like you know the same stuff, like play scanner or uh, you know a lot a lot of people will shut up for me to play the songs they know that. 
that I do, and and uh, but other than that, I mean, I, I there have been things that I've heard that have been uh, mumbled, I guess, shouted that I've <laughs> that I can't. Yeah, I'm sure it was something along those lines, like blue eyes or something like that. But yeah. I choose not. I choose not to listen to that because I'm a I'm a true musician. And I'm in the moment playing my music. So. so when they yell songs, what song makes everybody go crazy the most that you play? Uh, it's different. Uh, Goodbye's made you mine. Since we played that towards the end of the set, people are really digging that one. Um, uh, we do a pretty crazy cover of Hurt So Good by John Mellencamp. The people go pretty nuts about nuts over. Um, and uh, they definitely sing back Hunt You Down quite a bit. The na 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 stuff. I usually can break that break it down a little song and they'll be they'll be singing it, so that's pretty cool. Cool. K E W L. Lydia, any more questions? There's some coming in on Twitter. They want to know about your band, JT, and if they're going to travel with you. They want to know about my band? Do you have yeah. a special band? Oh, yeah, I got, I got a Dirty I little got a crew secrets. <laughs> I got a crew of cats that always, that always come with me. Yes, I will. They, they always go wherever I go, so the band will be with me. Awesome. Especially for Thunder on the Mountain. Well, they can't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Not if Nobody you know wants that. to miss Thunder on the Mountain. Nobody. <laughs> I don't want to miss it. Come on, lady. We got room in Arkansas. Yeah, I'll come. Here. here we go. <laughs> Amy's already pre-partying. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll bring Canadian whiskey. I'll there we go. <laughs> Yeah, we've got JT Hodges. We've got the whiskey. We are set for Thunder on the Mountain. <laughs> Nothing can go wrong. It will be awesome. <laughs> We're bringing the party. All right. Well, I think we've hit um, we've hit our fifteen minute mark that I promised um, to keep it at. JT, do you want to tell everyone where they can find you online um, in between now and Thunder on the Mountain? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm always at uh, Hello JT Hodges as far as Twitter. Uh, Facebook.com uh, slash JT Hodges Music. And uh, I'm constantly involved with it. You know, shoot me uh, shoot me messages, all that good stuff. I'll hit you back. And, um, and I'm excited. We're also going to be doing um, probably some kind of chat uh, Monday while I'm in the studio. For everybody, uh, we're gonna get that out probably tomorrow. But people will be able to tune in, and I'll do a little thirty-minute break and tell everybody how uh, the songs have been going in the studio. And, and uh, this is an exciting time. It's gonna be an exciting summer. Uh, some other news to come too. So stay tuned. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for taking the. T <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today and working through our <laughs> lag issues. <laughs> It's been a blast, and um, right. for everyone that's watching, we can take a shot in person. <laughs> oh, we can get, oh. get Heimer, <laughs> <laughs> and you can yell about his eyes. <laughs> for for everyone that's watching, and hopefully not drinking whiskey in the middle of the day, uh, be sure to visit thunderonthemountain.com for more information, and uh, it'll be hitting up. Northwest Arkansas, June 6th through the 8th. J.T. Hodges is going to be there, and he's going to rock your faces off, for sure. <laughs> there it is. Thank you, ladies. Thanks, everyone. We'll see y'all soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.